Hey, how's it going? Chrome and Chris here. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed 4. Uh, it appears we found the window that he's talking about. And, uh... Yeah. He's, uh, having us go on this moving platform. You can't waltz into Olivier's office through the front door, so I've opened another route. Up we go. Did you oh, know dear. that Sturgo was run by Templars? Oh, yeah. Sounds like crackpot stuff, I know. But then again, the moon landing was fake, right? So, anything's possible. I mean, it wasn't fake. Uh, let's be completely honest. All right. Either you walk through that door or throw yourself off the terrace. Those are your options. I mean, at least you'll have a good view as you're going down. I love the jet streams. Are they moving as well? That's so cool. Right. Uh, yeah. Hack. Oh, well done, kiddo. Find his computer. Make it snappy. We're looking for the shareholders meeting schedule. It's worth a lot of money to us. Okay. I would in Frogger again. I don't like those ones. Go. Connection successful. Oh, guff. Uh, as most of you will be saying, Chicago shareholders. Who's this to? Melanie. Several people that I don't know the names. Uh, gathered. Eye opening explorations of piracy. Uh, promising footage. Zergon so Entertainment will soon be announcing a closed beta for our consumer cloud interface app. Virtual pirate experience. Ready in time for the next whole day. Does sample 17 contain enough compelling data to sustain our current commitment to it? Or should we make a request to Abstergo Industries for additional archive data? Remember that data from sample 1 proved fruitful enough to create our liberation product. It is very likely that research into samples 2 through 16 would bear surprising fruits as well. I think so too. I didn't know that it was sample 1 that gave us, uh, is it Aveline? Or something? In the liberation game? Right, let's have a look. My team and I have been able to cobble together a rough list of the most interesting time periods available to us through this single genetic sample. Remember, this is data that has already been fully and partially sequenced by Abstergo Industries. I'll try to be brief. Yeah, Italian Renaissance, we've been there. Ottoman Empire, yes, we were there. American col colonies. New England and American Midwest. Well, that was a whole load of email. You sneaky bastard. I'm not sure the we needed to read all of it. Ancient. Now, get down to the lobby. There's a courier waiting. Yeah, that's right. I've been planning this for a few hours. Now, wait. The receptionist. Hold on. I'll try something. Oh, oh you want me to go out that door? Okay. She looks distraught. Where's she going? As gullible as ever. Can I go on her computer? I, I, I can't go on her computer. I better do it now while she's not there. Uh, oh. I didn't know that it... Uh, Went all the way. That's pretty cool. Out. Oh. <laughs> I 
I should have known really that that was the wrong time to go across. It's funny, I've not really tried to move vertically along these. Ah. Why is accessing her computer much harder than accessing the bosses? Ah, come on. Goodness sake. Finally got across. Uh, oh, it's part of the book. Yeah, I'm not going to read the chapter of the book because I do actually want to. Uh, I do actually want to read the books. So I'm not going to read the third Radio. chapter. My tracks are covered. Yours ain't. And let's go down to see Rebecca. And Sean. I wonder if they're arguing again. code for god's sakes it's just a bloody coffee oh hooray it's our old friend hey there i just got a call about picking up another transfer oh you said you were here to see me yes that is one of the perks let's see it hmm a conference in chicago very nice thanks for this should, should you be saying out loud ciao rebecca text me stuff it hastings <laughs> You? Oh, level two. Well done, friend. Very well done. Apologies for my temper tantrum there. That's another you security are with area. The guys, I promise. We'll keep you safe. Trust me. Go on back to work. We'll be in touch. Let's have a quick look on here before going back upstairs. That'll come in handy later. I think that was a level three area, wasn't it? Yeah. So I guess we'll go back to our console then. Going up. Maybe we'll check out these rooms first, actually, because there's only a little bit. No open computers. Oh, there's a post-it note. Sticky note number five. Still haven't found the first sticky note, which is weird. 
What do we get? Okay, so I think it's just uh, outlining Templar leaders that uh, got cut down by the assassins in these games that we would get to play as. Let's go on this one. Should have just done that to start with. So this is before, this is when he got captured. Yeah, there he is. Well, Desmond Miles. Have you seen this man? Well, just got one more then, I think. Oh no, there's two more. It's really cool how this works. I quite like it. Very simple puzzle to solve. Our oh. researchers looked into the life of Altair Ibn Lahad, hoping to find a biography that might serve as a positive role model for Abstergo's global outreach programs. Unfortunately, this renegade assassin proved to be no such thing. In much of his footage, we see a man gleefully flouting some of his culture's most entrenched taboos with an arrogance that borders on messianic. Altair, no, this is not our way. Burn a man's body is forbidden. Many of our researchers felt that the arguments articulated by Altair's rival, a man known as Abbas, were clearer and more cogent than any we heard from Altair. Huh. I recently put in a request that more effort be dedicated to locating one of Abbas's descendants, if any exist. It's clear to us that Altair's transgressions were the primary motivation behind the ultimate dissolution of his despicable order by the middle of the 13th century. We therefore strongly recommend a pass on this property in favor of a more agreeable and inspiring figure from this era. Wow. That is pretty cool just to see Altair rocking it. Honest. I wonder if we get statues from doing the uh, the multiplayer stuff. I don't even know if the multiplayer still works, honestly. Oh? This looks like an animated version. <laughs> Donate today. Oh. Oh. So they're trying to get people to donate their blood. That's not good. Let's just see if there's any more sticky notes. Nope, I don't think there is. Uh, 
Let's go along to the area over there. I think it's just those two areas. Yeah. So straight away. Oh, I need to get both of those as well. Uh, sticky note here. Oh, number three. Still haven't got the first one. I need level three to get through there. Um, oh, so I look at this computer. Farragher. Oops. Ghost lights. It's just all different weird things that have been discovered. Interesting. I think that last one said something about 2012. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, uh, just gonna leave those ones for now. I'll listen to them later. Mainly because they just go on for a while. That frog I wanted it definitely takes more thinking than I thought it did. More pictures. Oh! That's a picture of Sean and Desmond and Rebecca and William and the whole lot of them. Uh, and the kid. Okay. Um, hmm. I think they need to be very careful downstairs. Very, very careful. Uh, don't know what she's talking about. She's still in the office, and I still can't go see her. I think there's security room in here, bro. This one, this one, that one. Oh, 
I think I've gone wrong somewhere. There we go. Okay. We got a few of the cameras here. Not sure what we need them for. I suppose we can check in on the boss. Interesting though. All right, we'll go back to our workstation. Back to work. Oh, another flashback. I have an awful feeling about this. You'll be hurt out there. I couldn't handle that. I'll be careful. I promise. And when I'm flush with coin and set up, I'll send for you. I will. Caroline, come away! Don't exert yourself! I can't promise I'll come, Edward. If you leave on this fool's errand, I, I cannot promise anything. Don't give up on me, Caroline! Not when I need your faith the most. And July 1718. What is he wearing? Putting some shape to your sentiments? Just a short letter home. I reckon she's past caring anyway. Oh, you're a hard heart that should be softer. Or soft in parts that should be hard. <laughs> and how is it you're so keen for his hard parts, Mr. Rackham? She got a point. You'd like to know my secrets, would you? Oh, aye. Give me a small hint, like. Or a large one, if you're an upright gentleman. Open your hand. Oh. Who's shooting? Might be them ships sliding into port. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Jesus, indeed. What's going on? We demand a parlay. Why has he put this outfit on? I've not told him to put this outfit on. Personally, I think it looks awful. I don't, I don't like... Well, Leopard print. I'll be hanged. Oh. George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Jaguar print? Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth if you please. Hear about the king's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? Any living punk? What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. Smells like danger I to me. I our reception would be a troubled one. Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say, but of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fairer shape than I expected to see from any pirate. I promise fair treatment to all who hear me out. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. Won't do you a look of good. Men like him are a blight on His Majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The King wants them eradicated, above all else. Is this uh. the town square? As close to one as we've ever had. 
Incredible. It's no cleaner than a dog's kennel. Captain Hornigold, please call your men. As close as I need to be for now. The governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cochrane as well. I'm going to assume that Thatch isn't here. town as if it were your own. Right. But the king has been particularly ineffective in bringing about this change, hasn't he? And has failed at all attempts until now. Careful how you talk about his majesty, governor. You're here at his pleasure. Oh. I have my methods, Commodore, and I expect you to honor them to the letter. We need to get out of his sight as soon as possible. And there's. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. We start a lot of you. Make way for the king's emissaries. Out of the way, you bastards. Go on. Our only aim here is to treat with the masters of this community. Right. As long as I stay out of the red circle, I should be fine, although I've got to reduce distance. Argument these guys. Hide from sight. Guess that's not good enough. I'll go up here instead. believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders. Are all our targets going in there? I guess so. And I guess that we're going to be breaking into there. Okay, we're going to end it right there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.